All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just My Thoughts. So I'll admit I am a little tired right now. It's been a long, oh my goodness, a very long day. But I came across this uh, this story, uh, this topic, um, and I thought it was interesting uh, because I've, I've had this, this discussion before. So I'm going to read it and then I'll give my thoughts on it. Ladies, it's perfectly okay to be the first one to initiate and take charge when dating. The year is 2021. It should be normalized at this point for men not to have to literally do everything when it comes to dating, especially online. Being a guy, it gets absolutely exhausting having to be the first one to send the first message or plan the date. Hell, even just approach me with a compliment would be great as well. If you're scared of rejection or fear coming off as desperate, guess what? Men have gone through that on a daily basis. Exactly, we have. All the time. I had a woman the other day who seemed so mature, she initiated the first conversation and even planned and called me for FaceTime. It was literally the sexiest thing in the world for a woman to do that. It was a breath of fresh air, and I wish more women could take the lead sometimes and actually show interest. So the question is, is it okay for the woman to make the first move? Yes, <laughs> it's absolutely perfect. Perfectly okay for the woman to make the first move. It's definitely welcomed because I can speak for myself and I will speak for myself. I'm pretty shy. I'm pretty reserved. I didn't get my first girlfriend until I got to college. You know, I was nervous, nervous, and I'm still nervous. I hate rejection. I don't even want to think about rejection. My hands start to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> and just thinking about being rejected. It's not a good thing. And then when you think about all of the competition that you have to compete against as a guy, every woman has exponentially more guys interested in her than every man. So one woman, she might have 10, 20 different guys in a, in a, in a small radius that are interested in her. And the guy, he might have one or two other women. So you got a lot more options, ladies. So chances are the guy that you're interested in is probably interested in you as well. So don't be too shy when it comes to making that first move. You guys got a lot of tools at your disposal as women, you know, bat them eyes, flash that smile, so on and so forth. That's a beautiful thing for us guys. We welcome that kind of uh, attention. It's, it's, it's actually a, an ego boost for us, for a woman to actually show interest. You know, when she shows that I'm initiating that interest and in showing you that I find you attractive, because most guys, we don't we don't get that. <laughs> and so it, it's a it's a wonderful thing when you actually show that you are interested in us. So don't be don't 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 feel that you have to be uh, like the traditionalist from olden times where you have to sit there and the guy has to come up to you and say, excuse me, madam, can I. uh buy you a drink and interest you in some conversation to blow your mind, you can be sitting all day because there's a lot of guys that would love to talk to you, but they're shy or they've been rejected before, or they just don't want to encroach upon your space. Make yourself available. If you're, if you're one of those single ladies that are wondering, why am I 35 years old, 25 years old, and I'm still single, so on and so forth. Have you made yourself available? And I, I've said this to, to someone else. Uh, she was giving up on, on looking for love. Was, she was like, what, 26 or something like that? And she had been single for like five years. And I said, you have to put yourself in the environment where you are most likely to find the kind of guy that you're interested in being with. So if you are a religious person, Go to a church, go to a mosque, go to a synagogue. If you are a sporty person, go to sporting events. If you like to party, that's the easy spot. Go to the bar, go to the club, so on and so forth. So put yourself in the environment where you're most likely to find the type of person that you're interested in being with. And when you're in those environments, make yourself available. Put on that smile, make eye contact, so on and so forth. Don't be all... Oh, <sighs> Hey, you got to come to me. I'm not going to give any eye contact. There's too many uh, busters in this in this club or in this place or whatever. 
because that's an intimidation. Guys don't want that kind of rejection. Now, there are some guys that like the challenge. Oh, she looks like she's standoffish. Standoffish. She looks like she, uh, you know, it's it's hard to get and all that other stuff. I hate that game. I hate the hard to get game. If you're interested, let me know you're interested. Let's make this easy for us both because the relationship itself is hard enough. The whole process of, of, of finding someone to connect with is hard enough. So if you're intentionally making it hard to, um, to make contact with you or hold a conversation with you, that's not a good thing. So now, like I said, it's, it's 2021. It's 2021 and it's perfectly okay for you ladies to initiate that contact. You see a guy that you like, walk up and say hi. Ask him his name. Ask him for his phone number. You make that phone call. I don't feel that there's anything wrong with that. We're we're in the age of independent women. I want to see the lady. I want to see the Beyonce independent ladies and everything like that. So now that's not to say that that you completely switch roles and everything like that, and, and there's nothing for him to do. I still, even if the woman initiated the the contact and uh, initiated the, the the date and and all that stuff, I would still want to pay for it. That's just my my feelings on it. I would still want to pay for it. But if you're out there and you're looking for a relationship to be in, don't be too shy to, to, to actually go and approach the guy. Because like I said, you got a lot more options. So the chances of you knocking it out of the park are a lot greater than it is for us. Okay? That's just my thoughts on it. What do you guys think? Do you think that it's okay for the woman to initiate that, that first contact? Do you think it's okay for her to make that first move? Ask for the phone number. Or do you think it is, oh, desperation? Do you think that women have more options than men? There's a lot of questions here. So <laughs> I'll be more than happy to engage in that conversation. If, if one of you ladies want to have a debate, let's have that debate to see you know, what the roles are, what the responsibilities are as far as making that contact and, and, and everything. And is it easier for, for you women? You single ladies, has it been uh, because you've been, uh, are you single because you've been, do you think you've been too picky? Or have you put yourself in the environment to find the guy that you're, uh, that, that you're trying to, to, to be with? Or is it just you're not interested in dating? What are the reasons? You know, let's have that conversation. We can have it in the comments. We can talk and, and, and have another video. We can do a Zoom call or whatever, <laughs> whatever it is. But let's have that conversation. All right. So I just thought this was interesting because this is something that I've, I've thought about before. Uh, and like I say, I've had that conversation before. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Stay tuned for another video. And remember, whatever you do, do it justice.